This little AI has learned how to drift and soon enough even I could not beat it anymore. In my pursuit of training AI the most crucial skills in life, I decided to focus on the holy grail. Drifting! I've trained a few different agents and at the end I will make the best AIs compete with each other. And we'll even demonstrate how you can try your luck against these bad boys. So stay tuned! Alright, by now you might be wondering how exactly I'm going to train them drifting. I don't even have a driver's license. Luckily, I don't even need one. First of all, because I live in Netherlands and public transport here is incredible. And second of all, I don't need a driver's license because I'm going to train them using machine learning. Machine learning is a form of artificial intelligence that enables the system to learn from data rather than through explicit programming. It looks for patterns and tries adapting to those patterns. It does so using neural networks, which is basically the way our brains function. When we eat a nice meal from McDonald's, for example, that usually makes us happy. That is because our brain, for thousands of years, has been programmed to look for food, especially fat and greasy food that won't let you starve to death. So it rewards you for that with a dose of dopamine and obesity. On the other hand, if you do something dumb like angering a fucking bear, your brain won't be too happy about it. To be fair, if you're poking a bear with a stick, I'm not really sure if you have a brain at all at this point. Anyways, machine learning works in a similar fashion. The agent is going to be rewarded for correct actions, like drifting. And punished for wrong actions, like bumping into walls. Bruh. The very first thing any project needs is a name. And I didn't have to think too much until I got the perfect name for this project. Well, it has artificial intelligence, it has drifting, so the name is Artificial Intelligence Drifting Simulator, or shortened AIDS. The second first thing I need is an environment. Luckily, on Asset Store, there is this cool and most importantly free asset, which I immediately yoinked. Not only this asset package had a perfect collection of track to train on, it also had a car controller implemented. Ain't that awesome? However, just driving was not really enough for the task, so I ended up playing with the variables to get the best drifting possible. After a few hours when I was actually content with the result, it was the time to bring in our little lab rat named Chicos. I thought it would be funny to make his head jiggle from inertia when car moves, something like those car toys that jiggle their head, you know? However, there was a small problem. All the tutorials on jiggle physics that I found on the internet were for boobs. Well, I did what everyone in my place would have done, and I just pretended that Chico's head is a huge boob, and added the accord in jiggle physics, and oh boy, I love the result. Now, before you get too aroused from this huge tit, let me explain how the training process will take place. The agent will be trained on this track. The goal will be to complete the track as fast as possible. Along the track there are 28 checkpoints. That should help the agent navigate his way from the start to finish. This track is great for training, because it has all kinds of scenarios involved. We have straight road, where the agent will learn how to accelerate and not bump into walls. We have all kinds of cool turns, where the agent will learn to drift or to slow down. But the coolest thing are those bumps. If you drive too fast, you fly over them. If you look in the wrong direction, you fly over them. If you are too slow, you get stuck. These bumps are going to be the agent's final test. If they can handle that, they can handle any other scenario. In order to navigate in the environment, at every frame the agent will shoot 8 lines in different directions. In case any of the lines hits an obstacle, like a wall, the distance to that obstacle will be then retrieved by the AI. Besides that, he will also know his current speed and his current rotation. Now, we need a way to tell the agent which decisions are good by rewarding them and punishing the wrong decisions. Finding the correct set of rewards and punishments is crucial for the AI to learn and even tweaking that by a little can drastically change the AI's final behavior. In our example, we'll have three agents that were trained using different parameters, which resulted in different strategies along the way. For simplicity, let's call the agents yellow, red and green. This agent was rewarded for every checkpoint passed. This helped it understand in which direction to move to get from start to finish. It was also rewarded a tiny amount for moving in the right direction. 
The closer the agent was to the next checkpoint, the more it will be rewarded. This reward was kept smaller than the reward for passing through the checkpoint, so the agent actually goes through them instead of just staying as close as possible and gathering points. Also, the agent will be rewarded for its current speed, which means that faster it goes, bigger the reward, so the AI was motivated to go full speed. The red agent is quite similar to the yellow agent in terms of rewards, however I have allocated it twice as much memory for his brain, which in theory should have made it twice smarter, but I'm not entirely sure that was the case. Mmm, yeah. The last, and in my opinion, the best agent is green. The reason it's the best is because this agent, compared to all the others, was rewarded for drifting. Yeah, you've heard me right. I mean, it was still rewarded for going through checkpoints and all the other stuff, it's just that those rewards were relatively smaller. The main goal in the life of the green agent was drifting and being cool. The training took in total about 50 hours. I was training 50 agents simultaneously with a time scale of 100, which means that 1 second in real life was equal to 100 seconds in the simulation. Before making the final models compete with each other, I have improved the scene a little bit. I have made the whole camera system for cinematic shots which I can easily control from my keyboard. I did that using Cinemachine and I think I'll use that in future quite often because that was awesome and hella easy. I've also made this scoreboard, which will change according to the current stats of the players, and we will be able to see in the bracket the shortest lap of each participant. Last but not least, I have added a menu and an endgame scene with jiggly heads, and I think that looks awesome. Oh, right, there's also an in-game menu that looks as pretty as me, but it will allow you to restart the game or get back to the main menu in case you glitch or fly out of the map. Now that you know what's going on, I think it's time to see them in action. We'll have one race that will go until 3 laps. Whoever comes first, wins. Let's go! Alright, let's see what we've got here. I'm rooting for green by the way. Who are you rooting for? Nice, seems like green got the lead right off the bat, passing the first bump with ease and grace. Red is following behind and yellow is number 3. Oh, look at that, green passes the second bump with ease once again. And once again. Nice drift on the turn. Yellow following behind with a cool turn as well. Where the hell is red? Oh, there it is. Looks like it got a little stuck on the bumps. Oh, meanwhile, yellow has taken the lead. Smooth turn. And it's about to finish the first lap. Oh shit, green catches up in the last second and actually finishes first. Just look at this difference. It's barely noticeable. Wow. However, almost 40 seconds, it's kinda lame. I'm sure you can do better, guys. Wait, the heck is going on? Seems like they were surprised by Green's overtake as I was. <laughs> Meanwhile, Red catches up and is taking the lead. Oh no, both of them woke up suddenly. Green is catching up and all three of them fly over the bumps without a problem. Green is once again in the lead, smooth drift on the turn. Oh no, the bomb slowed him down and yellow is now in the first place. Meanwhile, red is struggling a little bit, but no time for him. Green has somehow taken the lead once again. Nice jump. And green finished the second lap once again first. The result, however, seems to be worse than the first time. Yellow is coming in second. And there is red. Looks like he managed to turn. <laughs> Good for him. Green has a very strong lead. I think I know who the winner is gonna be. Smooth drift, smooth flight. Yellow is trying to catch up, but he is quite far. And red bumps once again. Poor fella. He's trying, okay? Oh, meanwhile, we can see in the background that green actually won. And he even got a slightly better score this time. Yellow is almost at the finish line as well, while red is uh, still being red. Yellow passes the last bumps and the last turn and finishes second. Nice. Okay, no pressure, little fella, but now all the eyes are on you. You've got this. You can do this. You know what? Let's help him a little bit and turn him in the right direction. There you go, little buddy. Just look how happy he is. Nice. That was kind of pog.
Oh, um, okay, we will pretend we did not see that. Just look at him go! Flawless! Damn, <laughs> this last lap is actually kinda impressive. <laughs> Good job! That was cool, but I decided to try my own skill against this brainless punk. So I have made two game modes. One where you can watch them compete with each other, and a different one where you can actually compete against them. Let's see who's the best drifter in the village. Alright, but I must say that I'm not too good at the game, because I didn't really make the controls for human players, but I'm gonna try my best. My goal will be to at least try and get to the finish. That being said, I passed the first bumps quite easily, and so far I'm taking the lead? No way. Right, we're still in the lead. We're going quite well so far. I just need to try not to fall off the map, because that's so far the hardest part. Alright, that was a nice jump, and we're almost there. Yay! We've got this. Easy. Eat shit, chickles. If you think you can beat me or Chickles, you can play the game by following the link in the description down below this video. My shortest lap is 26 seconds and 75 milliseconds, which makes me the current village drifter. On my Discord channel, link in the description down below, I have created a special role that will be awarded to the person with the highest AIDS score. Ooh, uh, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next video. Bye!